In a battle between two Mississippi rivals for the SWAG championship trophy, it would be the favorites, Jackson State, to come out on top over the persistent Alcorn Braves. Now Joe was in Birmingham to see it all go down and tell us. That's right, JSU won their third SWAT championship in the last four years with a dominant win over Alcorn State as they were playing at a high level on both ends of the floor. Head coach Tamika Reed dressed the part as her Tigers were one step away from another SWAT tournament title. Nate Kilbert and the Braves trying to pull off the upset. The Tigers jumped out to an 8-0 lead, but the Braves cut it to three after Nakia Cheatham steal and coast-to-coast -coast bucket. She led the Braves with 10 points and seven boards, but the Tigers closed the first quarter on a 9-1 run and never looked back. Credit that stout defense. They held the Braves to 24% shooting for the game and just 12 points in the first half. JSU got production from everywhere. Haley Breland led everyone with eight points in the first half. Ty and Bowler poured in 13 points. And Adriana Advent came off the bench with a game high 17 points and earned tournament MVP honors. JSU wins 68-44 and they are dancing in March for the third time in four years. They fell short last year and Coach Reed had dreams about that loss to Southern, but it was the fuel to be the last team standing in the SWAC this year. You know, I would tell my players about my dream. You know, I had a dream that Southern took the trophy out of my house. You know, it was just tough, couldn't sleep. And um, this has been our driving force all year. And I told my players in the locker room, we worked too hard to let it go. We've come too far to let this one slip away. And so um, this team is so special. This is a very special team. For the Braves, this run could be their fuel for next season. The opportunity to, to come and play in the championship game with a great core coming back, and we add a few uh, pieces to with this core. I think we got an opportunity to come back not as a six seed. I'm talking about as a one seed or a two seed, and that and and uh, being able to experience this that's going to help us for next year. Now we'll see who JSU will play in the first round of the NCAA tournament as they wait to hear their names called on Selection Sunday. Reporting from Bartow Arena on the campus of UAB in Birmingham, Joe Cook, 16, WAPT Sports.